Unexpected smash hit of the summer, Sound of Freedom shining a spotlight on the human trafficking crisis. Tim Ballard, the inspiration for Sound of Freedom's main character, played by Jim Caviezel, doubling down on claims that the U.S. government, intentionally or not, is in essence assisting the cartel's massive human trafficking machine. But the fact that you do nothing for that child other than send them to whoever the child traffickers in Mexico are giving as the point of contact, that's trafficking. And it we're complicit bizarre. in it. Joining us right now, Lieutenant Christopher Oliveira is from the Texas Department of Public Safety. You and I have chatted about this extensively over the past couple of years. I want to play a part of Tim Ballard's interview and have you respond on the other side. The United States is the number one consumer of child sex uh, material in the world. And so when, when you have tens of thousands of unaccompanied children being dropped off and lost into the belly of that, that's scary. So where are these kids going? You know, that's a good question, Adrian. It's very disturbing, you know, hearing some of those comments, especially somebody, uh, you know, coming from Tim Ballard, who has been on the front lines, that knows the ins and outs of child trafficking. It, this is a reality of the situation on the border. And when you look at the past two years, and even right now, there's over 85,000 children that are not accounted for uh, because there's no type of intervention from the federal government to actually vet these children, these unaccompanied children that are being brought across the border that are going to these sponsors. A lot of these children that are coming across, I've seen it with my own eyes. Uh, these children are brought across by smuggler in Mexico. They'll have some type of you know, message on their body or a piece of paper that has an address and a phone number, and that's it. And then from there, that child moves from that point to wherever the destination may be. So there's no vetting process to see who that sponsor is, if it's an actual relative, uh, what the background is on those sponsors, because there's so many children that are being brought across the border that you know, agents themselves don't have the time to process or even vet uh, these sponsors and that's why we're losing wow. children in this country right now and in fact even our state troopers at the state level we have rescued over 900 children in the past two years when we started border operations these are children that are being smuggled um, in vehicles just most recently two weeks ago we recovered two juveniles a uh, 15 and a 16 year old that were being smuggled in the trunk of a car uh, from eagle pass texas they're being smuggled to houston texas which we know is a hub for human trafficking, sex trafficking. So it's a very serious situation, and I think it needs more, it requires more attention as far as what's happening on the border when we talk about unaccompanied children and children that are being victimized due to smuggling. So I don't want to mince words. I want you to go on the record. You agree with what Tim Ballard is saying. You're saying that agents oh. actually take those notes that we've seen. I've seen it with the network I worked with before I came to News Nation. They have a phone number, a contact name, and so you're saying without any background check, without any kind of associative uh, vetting, they just send that child uh, to that particular person. Right. And I mean, they've admitted themselves that they don't even do DNA uh, testing to see if this child is actually a relative to wh whatever sponsor, uh, whatever wow. member they're going to. And also, you got to keep in mind, too, a lot of the times these sponsors or whoever's facilitating the transport in the, in the U.S. with the cartels or the smugglers in Mexico, a lot of times if they don't have the money to pay that debt, uh, that child's going to get lost in the sex or labor trafficking trade. And that's why it's very serious and it doesn't it doesn't get a lot of attention but it's a clear reality of what's happening on the border we see it all the time with unaccompanied children and the question should be raised well what's happening with these children when they're being brought across what is the vetting process what's being done to stop uh the trafficking and I, again i can tell you from experience as a law enforcement official uh nothing's being done to protect these children I want to just confirm something you may, you may or may not know about because I think it's out of your jurisdiction, but uh, there was a facility in San Diego during the pandemic where we were told that unaccompanied minors were being housed and that they were going to be placed in the foster care system. Do you know anything about that? I, I do not, but also that's another that's another situation too, right? So we don't know what the process is with that. We don't know what happens with these children when they're, when they're in this foster care, um, especially during the pandemic. That's why a lot of these children are lost right now. As I mentioned, when I, when I gave you that number, over 85,000, uh, in the past two years. So again, it's it's a combination of uh, multiple uh, situations that have happened over the past two years. But the fact of the matter is that when you continue having children being brought across the border, uh, unaccompanied children, this is a cause of it. And also, also keep in mind too, when I when I mentioned before, and some of the some of the correspondents from News Nation have covered this, the children that are being brought across, they have wristbands on the wrist, you know, because it shows that whoever facilitated the, the transport has paid has paid the cartel. So the cartels place wristbands on children when they bring them across the border. That's, that's a form of modern day slavery and that's what we're seeing and that's a clear reality of the situation at the border. So you're Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.